This is Bill Yard, and I'm here at Weasel News uh, headquarters with an unusual situation. I've actually been offered an interview with Jericho Watson here, the gentleman on my left, a man with no butthole. Um, Jericho Watson, do you mean to tell me that you literally have no butthole? So, right, Mr. Yard, the butthole is still there. However, it was sewn shut during my time in the Marine Corps. Right now, why would... Was it for some kind of strategic advantage that they would do an operation like that? Um, no, it was more so of a situation where it was kind of lacking in time, right? So when we would be out in the field, it was a disadvantage to have to use said body part. So we went on to a more of a stricter diet and much stricter uh, exercise regimen. And because of that, we basically were well-oiled machines that didn't produce any sort of waste product that would need to be excreted through that specific body part. So you guys would use 100% of the calories you would take and would just get spent and used from physical activity? Pretty much. It would and did, take... they, did they experiment with having you guys attempt to just like clench it or squeeze it shut, or did they go right to uh, this medical procedure? Well, with the certain thing that we are speaking with, right? Uh, it, you know, clenching and squeezing you know, will not last you forever, right? About 14 days is about the most that you can do without uh, excrete from the butthole. So what we did was we were an experimental group that specifically there was about 12 of us, and they went straight into it after researching the 14-day trial. Right. Now, um, first of all, on behalf of Weasel News, I want to thank you for your service. Thank you, Mr. Yard. Now, how long have you been back living in Los Santos with your butthole still sewn closed? Um, let me think. Let me think. So I got out of the Marine Corps at 22 years of age, and I moved here at about 27. So it's been about, say, six years now since um, the operation. That's incredible. Now, with the recent success of places like the Taco Shop and, and Burger Shot, um, how have you been uh, handling your nutrition in this environment compared to where you were before? Typically, I stay more on a fish diet, as fish is proven to be used and utilized much stronger throughout the body. I and see. I imagine a lot of fiber or very little fiber. Very little. Very little. Very little. Makes sense, I guess. Um, so that said, is there any uh, anything unusual that happens in your life? Like, do you have trouble sitting? or? Um, at first, there was sort of an issue, right? Because you had the stitches there. But they were more eventually turned into, like, the suit or, um, excuse me, the surgical sutures. So mm -hmm. they became a uh, – eventually just became part of the body. Like, um – you ever seen The Matrix? I have. You remember that scene where Neo's mouth kind of closed shut while uh, he was being interviewed? Yes, that's, it makes that's, me cringe. Yeah, me too. But that's, if you can imagine, if you will, that's what it probably would look like to you. All right, so, you know, kind of like a Ken doll. Yeah, that's that's a, another good interpretation. Just, you know, the shape is there, just none of the function. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. So... As a, what can I, may I ask, do you do for a living? Um, I work in the DOJ department. Interesting. And you, ha have you found that it's impacted your work at all? None whatsoever. That's incredible. I know, uh, my understanding that a lot of, you know, if they say in the city deals happen at bars, af at night, late night martinis, things like that. But I've heard that sometimes deals occur in the bathroom as well, just in between stalls. You know, you and the chief judge are both in the stall having a dump. You start talking shop, you know, over the wall and everything. Do you find that not being able to connect with people in that way has, has affected you at all? Um, I wouldn't say so. You know, we typically, uh, I mean, I still go in for number ones, of course. Of course. That sure. product is still uh, fully functional and still needs to be excreted. Um, however, you know, I interact with the civilians of this fine city on a different level. You know, I try and keep my nose to the grindstone and speak with everybody out on the streets. 
I typically don't fancy a nightlife in that uh, sort of fashion. I just stay at home. I watch movies with my wife, or sorry, soon to be wife. And um, yeah, that's about it. Do you ever, um, if I can detour here slightly, when you go number one, um, do you ever sit down just for the nostalgia? Of course. Yeah, excellent. I mean, that's another way to overcome that barrier I was talking about earlier. Now, in the DOJ, what exactly do you do? Are you a lawyer? Um, no, I work specifically for the DA. Um, okay. Yeah, what the nature of my work, I typically cannot speak on. Okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. And uh, was there anything else that you wanted to mention to the citizens of Los Santos, now that they have a better understanding of your life and how you live it? Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a strange thing, right? It's not typically socially accepted or really even heard of for this situation to have occurred. However, if you are willing to put in the, the workout regimens, the diet changes and everything, I 100% recommend having a medical procedure done by very licensed and professional doctors to have your butthole sewn shut. There you go. So if you'd like to experiment with a buttless lifestyle and change your diet and, and your life, um, you can just see one of the many plastic surgeons uh, located around Los Santos. Uh, thanks for doing this interview. Uh, thanks so much there, uh, Mr. Watson. Thank you, Mr. Yard. And more on this story as it develops. This is Bill Yard reporting.